the heart of the Pacific Northwest, a small settlement is about to undergo a transformation that will shape its destiny. That metamorphosis occurs right behind where I'm standing. On March 26, 1853, Henry Yesler opened Seattle's first steam-powered sawmill. Seattle is first established in 1851 by a group of American pioneers led by Arthur Denny. They originally named the town New York, but soon changed the name to Seattle after a local Native American chief. In 1852, Henry Yesler leaves his wife Sarah and six-year-old son George behind in Ohio to establish himself in the West, finding his way to Seattle soon after its founding. Yesler recognizes the potential of the lumber industry and establishes his sawmill in 1853. This sawmill plays a major role in the growth and prosperity of Seattle, helping the city become a force in the timber industry. Sarah joins Henry in Seattle in 1858, leaving their 12-year-old son George behind with relatives, expecting to have him join her and Henry soon. Tragically, George becomes ill and dies the following year. Henry Yesler becomes Seattle's wealthiest resident and is twice elected mayor. Stay tuned because there's more to come about the Yeslers, particularly their impact on the Seattle community. We'll also learn a bit about the impact of Seattle's Great Fire of 1889 on the Yeslers. Also, don't forget to check out Today in History in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. There's a link in the description. So Yesler Sawmill is located on Seattle's Elliott Bay waterfront at the foot of Yesler Way, which was then known as Skid Road, named for the practice of skidding greased logs down the steep grade of the street to the mill. After she arrives in Seattle in 1858, Sarah Yesler becomes the cook for the sawmill's employees. She also involves herself in the community, promoting women's suffrage and helping to establish Seattle's first public library and also an orphanage. The Yeslers also resist the growing anti-Chinese sentiment of the 1880s, going as far as protecting one of their Chinese workers in their own home, refusing to turn him over to an angry mob during the 1886 riots. Sarah Yesler dies in 1887 at age 65. Flags throughout the city are lowered to half-staff. The Great Seattle Fire of 1889 destroys the entire business district, including Yesler's home and sawmill. He rebuilds, uh, rebuilds brick and stone buildings on his property, some of which still stand today in Seattle's Pioneer Square. He also builds a large, beautiful new home, which becomes the home of the Seattle Public Library after his death. It burns, however, in 1901. Henry Yesler dies in 1892 at age 82. And if you like what you've seen here, please be sure to like and subscribe. And you can check out another great Mr. Lewis video here and another one right here. Thanks for watching.